a right-wing movement is laying a formal charge of hate speech against President Zuma at the HRC in Johannesburg this afternoon. And reports from Johannesburg say a velvet sky flight has left Oar Tambo Airport for Durban. I'm Musa with the latest news update. Right-wing movement, the Khalafta Folk, is laying a formal charge of hate speech against President Jacob Zuma at the Human Rights Commission in Johannesburg this afternoon. They claim that President Zuma sang the struggle song, including the words, Shoot the Boer, at the ANC centenary celebrations in Bloemfontein earlier this year. Last year, ANC Youth League leader Julius Malema was found guilty of hate speech by the Equality Court for singing the same song. Khalafta folk leader Andre Fisahi says they don't recognize Zuma as their president. Because no state president encourages the killing of his own people, and therefore we deduct that we are not uh, his people any longer. The ANC government, they discriminate against the Boer people's youth. Uh, They are uh, deliberately excluded from employment in both the government as well as the private sector. ANC spokesperson Jackson Mtembu has dismissed the challenge. It can only be called nonsense because we know what President Zuma sang at the Senate celebrations in Mangawung. We don't know whether these clowns were there or not. But indeed, uh, we, we think that they are just trying to gain some element of importance. The former Blue Bulls flanker dubbed the X-Men will go on trial in November in the Durban High Court on murder and attempted murder charges. Pindilin Chongwana is accused of murdering four people with an axe in March last year. The court had been conducting a hearing into whether Chongwana had the mental capacity to appreciate the wrongfulness of his alleged actions and with the alleged crimes. Zanele Butelezi reports. Njongwan appeared in court represented by a new attorney. Judge Kate Pile ruled that he's fit to stand trial. Last month, four state expert psychiatrists who had observed Njongwan concurred that he was able to understand court proceedings and communicate coherently. These findings were today accepted by his attorney, Herbert Cindy Letoni. Zanele Butele is the SABC News, Durban High Court. And lastly, reports from Johannesburg say a velvet sky flight has left Oar Tambo Airport for Durban after a seven-hour delay. Apparently the first plane the low-cost airline has managed to put into the sky today. Velvet Sky remains grounded at Durban's Ushaka International Airport. Airport Company South Africa spokesperson Colin Naidu says more than 100 passengers hoping to board flights were turned away at the airport for the second day today. The situation at Kinshasa International Airport at this stage uh, for the past two days, Velvet Sky had uh, cancelled their flight. For the past two days, they haven't had any flights in and out of Durban on Velvet Sky, and this has created passengers coming to the airport. We are encouraging passengers to go online and check with Velvet Sky what is the status of their flight. Meanwhile, the Peter Maritzburg High Court has given Velvet Sky until the 5th of next month to respond to BP's application to provisionally liquidate the airline over unpaid fuel debts. Catch the latest news anytime here on Newsbreak Option 1.